Right, good morning. Um, today's lesson, Karen is going to prove that she can do French knots because I struggled with those with an audience in France as well. Uh, I don't know if you saw my blog the other day, but I think, I don't know which day it was, but I was talking about being kind of stuck in the middle of nowhere, not knowing what to make, um, having things I wanted to make, that, but that were going to be time consuming and although that wasn't a problem for me, I loved the time consuming and repetitive. It was a problem in terms of feeding this little place that is my blog. Um, so I've been away to celebrate my daughter's birthday with her and I posted for you every day when I was away. Um, but I did those a couple of days before I went away so that gave me a couple of days to start this. And this is the kind of thing I had in my head that I wanted to start. And the reason I wanted to start this was because I took this to France with me. This is a little pocket, a little bag and this is mine, it wasn't for sale. It had Paz of Andre on it because it's mine because I just love it so much and it was this in particular that I love. The overlay and the stitching under and on top of the overlay. So I wanted to do something similar to that. Now I don't actually have any lace cloth made, obviously I haven't had time because I haven't been here. Um, and getting ready for the new class as well. But what I do have are scraps of lace that I bought, um, vintage lace this one. Uh, that I particularly love and I've got very little of this left actually but it's irreplaceable because it's vintage and this is some kind of like it's silk it's quite a heavy silk and um, what's the word I can't remember but it's got an embossed pattern on the front it's quite thick um, I can't bring the word to my head but never mind I don't need to um, so I've overlaid a little bit there on that corner and I'm in the process of embellishing that, but this piece will have that done all over it. Now, what's it going to be? Well, it's definitely not going to be a pocket because I've got pockets coming out of my ears. I'm thinking another kind of wrapping cloth or throw, maybe. Um, there's another baby due in the family this week. I won't be ready for that. But it's just nice to have these things anyway. And I'm just thinking further down the line, maybe it'd be ready for when that baby was baptised or so. I don't know. So I'll just... Um, keep working on it and I mean I could even keep it for myself that isn't yet listed as a crime as far as I know so if I put it in a hoop I'm just what I've done is I've done French knots on the edge of the lace and I've still got tacking in here so if you see wispy threads don't judge me it's still based in stitches in there but I'm so I did white French knots up to, up to there I'm going to continue those all the way but I'm just adding a little bit of the colour that's going on here into the white French knots okay so I'm going to do a couple of pink, my needles are already thread, and I'm going to do a couple of green. Um, this is a limb, I've got a video to make in a sec for class tomorrow, I know you might think, tomorrow, you're leaving it a bit late aren't you? I, it's mostly ready, but it's just one more video I want to make, so I'm going to do that in a minute. It's just been so hectic, so there's one there, one, two, three. You might be thinking now, oh, you're only supposed to wrap it twice for French knots. Well, it depends where you learn and it depends what you read. But the most important thing is you and how you feel about that, whether you want to do two or whether you want to do three. You might even want to do four or five. But the point I'm trying to make is we all develop our own ways of working. And I think if you were in my class, I think they'll vouch for me with this. And I was doing a French knot for the first time, I would say that it's very often said you only need to wrap twice but I prefer to do it three times. I think I do recognise that fact. Um, but you do what you want to do. The embroidery police will not come and arrest you, I promise. So that pink's run out now actually. So I'm just going to fasten that off. hopefully and then cut that off and then do a couple of green I won't stitch with the green until all the green's gone off the needle because there's quite a long bit of green left on there um, but I'll just do a couple so you can see that area building up I've already knotted this thread I'm so well prepared today let's hope it lasts let's hope I can maintain that that level of preparedness I do love this though something very old fashioned and feminine about this it makes me happy and if I was to make it into a wrapping cloth 
wouldn't all be with this base fabric because I haven't got enough um, for that but I'm sure I will find something else to add to use with it to complement it so I think I'll leave it at that because you don't want to spend your Sundays listening to me wittering on so I'm back now anyway from my daughter's um, and I don't I'm going to say I don't have to leave the house again for ages but I do, I have to go and visit my parents on Wednesday but you won't even know I'm not here but and after that I'm not I'm not leaving this house for, for weeks because I've missed being at home I've missed my own little space and my own little secluded reclusive world which is how my life normally is and then all of a sudden something hectic happens and it's like I'm desperate to get back to this so tomorrow and Tuesday is going to be heaven for me Wednesday go there and then from then on I'll be sitting right here uh, enjoying the silence and the relaxation of stitchery